Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Now I'm going to show you how to improve the color of photos you've imported into iPhoto. So here's a photo of me on the beach on a Segway. And as you can see, it was a cloudy day. The colors aren't very good there. So I'm going to work on that photo. The first thing I do, this isn't mandatory, but I usually like to do this, is I'll make a duplicate of that. You can find duplicate under the photos menu, or you can always just do a command D. And you'll see that made a duplicate here and called it version two. So I'll double click on that and then work on that one. Okay, so iPhoto gives you a lot of editing options. They're all hidden under this edit button right here. If you click on that, that opens this edit pane over here. And you'll also notice that it's now left your photo kind of small because you've got room here and you've got room used up here. So what I like to do when editing is I'll click on the full screen button over here and that now gets rid of all the other distractions on the screen and just lets me focus on editing the photo. Okay, so there's three basic levels of editing here. Um, the simplest is you can just give iPhoto a chance to try to do its best job of enhancing your photo, which they call that the Enhance button. So watch what happens when I try that. You'll see it's lightened things up. The colors look a little better. And if you think that's good enough, then you're done. But I'm going to show you a little more advanced features and then even more advanced features after that. So I'll use this revert to original button here and you'll see it go back to its kind of dark gloomy version. Um, also while I'm here I just have to show you a really cool option here which is retouch. Um, retouch lets you remove things from the photo. It says click or drag over a blemish to remove. Um, that is probably what you would use it for. But in this case, let's just go say, I don't want that helicopter in there anymore. If I go click on it, it's gone just like that. Now that doesn't always work as well as it did there. Obviously if it was on a more complicated background, it might not be able to fake it as much, but a helicopter against the sky does a really good job. <laughs> I just think that's really cool. Anyway, moving on here. Um, you'll see there's three tabs up here. Quick fixes, effects, and adjust. Under effects, you've got slightly more control over how you can improve the color of your photo. You can lighten it or darken it. This one could probably use a little lightening. And you can make it warmer or cooler. Um, best way to uh, describe that is just to show you what that means. Click a few times on warmer and, and there you go. The sand looks a little richer. The, the red roof over there looks a little, little redder. Or cooling it off, opposite direction. Well, now the sand looks really gray, but the water maybe looks a little bluer. And in addition to the revert to original option here, you can also undo one step at a time. So you can, I can back through those various functions there. But just for kicks, I'll go back to revert to original. So you see the helicopter has come back now too. So, a, um, oh, another button here that's handy is the saturate button. Watch what happens when I do that. Oh, actually not a whole lot. Maybe if I lightened it up more. Well, it does help some photos, just not this one. So the most advanced features are up in the Adjust tab. So I will revert to Original again. And in here, you have a bunch of controls. I won't read them all off, but you can see Exposure and Contrast Saturation, and then a bunch more down here. Um, and if you want, you can even adjust this graph up here, which shows the uh, red, green, and blue levels. But uh, So here, watch. I'll uh, adjust the exposure a little bit, maybe add saturation. Um, the best thing for you to do is just to play in here. You can't hurt anything, so you know, see what happens when you add shadows. Actually, this one, watch the pants here. Look what happens. 
And seeing on my shirt, kind of, you, you can see the wrinkles and everything a little better. It's almost like it lightens up the shadowed areas. And then you can play with the temperature down here. This is related to that button before. So you can make it warmer or you can make it cooler. So just play around with this. And uh, basically, whatever, wherever you leave it, iPhoto will save those settings for that photo. You can always click on Info if you want. And that will replace this edit portion with the uh, de very gory details about that photo and uh, the camera settings when it was taken. And if you just click on it again, or if you had just clicked on the edit button, you'll now have your photo full screen. So that's a, a quick tour through some of the editing functions. And um, just go have fun with your, uh, your own photos and see how much you can improve them. Hope that helps.